Hello and welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be talking about Writer's End updates and a 48-hour sort of warning. Uh, there's only 48 hours left for AppSumo lifetime deal. We come over here to AppSumo and you can see that this actually goes away in two days. This is the second time Writer's End has been on AppSumo. Uh, the first time was about six months ago. It was a really popular deal. They came back. They've been back for about a month now. Uh, this may be their last time joining and coming back to AppSumo to get, offer this lifetime deal. It's a five uh, taco uh, software. So you know it's a high quality software. You can boost your SEO rankings with tools organized into results oriented workflow. Uh, my main thing about this tool is it's really a an advanced keyword research tool. Um, I don't really use it for the uh, AI content generation that they're they're starting to uh, get into. Uh, you can optimize your content with Writer's End as well. I usually don't use Writer's End to optimize my content as well, as I have a lot of other tools uh, to do that with. Uh, lately, I, I usually use a more simplified approach with Rank IQ. Uh, you can check Rank IQ out um, both in the description below. I'll have a link to that as well. Uh, but uh, this one really is uh, laser focused on uh, keyword research. Um, it has all that good information about all in title and can come up with some really good keyword research for you. Um, does have some different approaches than other tools um, um, have. And this is a good tool to if you are looking to kind of get a lifetime deal on something and uh, kind of do away with Ahrefs or SEMrush. Um, I would say that it could replace those tools for uh, keyword research. Um, it depends on if you are a full-blown agency and you're doing an extreme amount of keyword research, then you're probably going to have to stick with one of those other tools because it's going to give you uh, millions of keywords inside of the tool. Writer's End doesn't really focus on getting you, uh, you know, tens of thousands of keywords. It already kind of sifts through just the most important keywords for a seed keyword and then and it's going to be able to find the, the ones that are going to be easier to rank for. Um, the other thing that it sets it apart, Writer Zen, is that it does keyword re, uh, clustering. And not very many tools do keyword clustering. And so I'm going to show you that in today's demo. And that's where their big update came from. All right. So, um, you know, just be warned, guys, because uh, last time uh, Writer Zen was on the block, uh, you know, we had a lot, I had a lot of comments in my videos that they wish that Writer's End came back. Um, dang it, bummer, I missed out on Writer's End, all those kind of comments. So this is one of those tools that you want to pick up. There isn't a lot of good keyword research tools that come to AppSumo that I have seen. There's been a lot of keyword rank tracking and maybe SEO audit type tools. Those have been very popular, but there just has not been a lot of keyword research tools. This is one of the ones that is a really, really good one. So this is your last chance. There's 44 hours left to pick up Writer's End on App Sumo. So uh, be warned. Go click that link. Go pick it up. Um, last but not least, I will give my recommendation on uh, which plan you should get. I, uh, for the most part, I would stay away from uh, the single. Um, I would go with a double or even a, a tier three or, uh, or further up. Um, I believe I got the tier three. Um, because uh, of just what it offers, the 100,000 words checked um, and so forth. So I think you get the best bang for uh, the most for your money without spending too much is on the tier three right here um, for $207. That's the one that I uh, recommend for most people. Of course, if you just need a little bit of keyword research here and there, then go ahead and pick up a single. I definitely recommend picking up the tool. Um, I don't strongly endorse a tool um, very often. Uh, I leave it up to you guys to decide based on just watching my reviews and watching my demos. But in this case, this is one of those ones that if you don't pick this up in the next 48 hours, you're probably going to regret it and come back and be like, dang it, I just wish I would have picked that one tool up that year, you know, because, um, you know, here we are in April and I would say between January and April. So, so far in Q1 uh, of almost five months through the 2022 year, uh, this is one of the top uh, recommended tools that I would uh, recommend to you guys. All right, so let's jump in real quick to some of the updates. We're gonna come through here. Keyword cluster just got a significant update. Don't miss it, don't miss out on it. Uh, so we're gonna come through here. Uh, they have updated the keyword cluster function. Uh, the keyword, uh, let's see right here. The keyword cluster tab is integrated into the keyword data tab as a function. So they switched it. Uh, so it's just a li little bit easier access, um, more of a workflow thing than anything. 
Um, so you're able to kind of turn it on or off um, a little easier. So that's that's good. I always like when there are these little updates sometimes are the biggest updates, right? You don't have to have a big giant update uh, to the tool and hold off for months and months and months to come up with an update. Sometimes these easy wins of these easy win winnable uh, updates um, even when it just has to do with the ui of the software are really really good right guys so you can now uh, specify the level of clustering you want so it actually goes from three to seven i'll show you a demo of that um, and which is really cool it just means that you can actually tighten up the level of clustering and their clustering has just gotten a little bit more sophisticated it looks like and then the es key kp i almost didn't even demo this because it was just kind of confusing i didn't like the name of this who's going to memorize this acronym no one uh, it's renamed to forecast in the <laughs> keyword data tab. So I'm glad that they just came to their senses and now they call it forecast. Super cool um, and better visualization of the Excel file when exporting. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit of key re keyword research demo for you guys. And then, um, and this is really exciting. I have another demo of another tool that does keyword clustering. So if you guys uh, want to talk more about keyword clustering, why that is the future of keyword research and uh, and you want to wait um, for that demo that's coming up soon for a different software that I really, really like, then go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you guys don't miss out when that video comes out. It should come out in the next seven days. I'm still testing the tool and so forth. But Writer's End is the other keyword clustering tool that is um, awesome. And they're, like I said, this is a new way to do keyword research, um, to build topic authority and not necessarily always go after keywords that you think you can actually rank for, but you actually want to map out your web website in a way that shows Google that you do have a you um, have topical or topic authority, right? You want to cover the entire topic as a whole, then you can start going after all those little tiny keywords and start ranking them. Uh, so it is actually kind of the reverse of what a lot of people teach. Just go after uh, small, uh, easy to rank for keywords, but then you're not building topical authority. And so keyword clustering is a great way to map out your site and uh, create a really good silo mapping of your website. So Writer's End is one of the few tools out there that does this super cool stuff. So let's go check it out. All right. So we're going to log into the tool real quick. And it looks like they have a watch demo clustering function in Keyword Explorer, big feature update. All right. So I have a video on that as well. Uh, so here we are in on the dashboard. You still have your four uh, different things. Now you can go directly into uh, topic discovery, which is a great way to do brainstorming for if you're starting out and trying to do a, a, a new niche website, um, then that is a good way to start start mapping out your silo and things like that. But um, a lot of you, um, the main tool is the, um, the the Keyword Explorer. So we're inside the Keyword Explorer tool. What are we going to do? Let's just go with, um, I'm going to say camping gear as a, a keyword tool. So we're going to go through there. It's going to go out and do its research for us. So we got about 50,000 search volume. And it peaks at 60,000 probably in the summer months. And then the lowest is 33,000. So it's still, you're still going to get camping gear even uh, year round, even in the winter time. People need to go camping and things like that, even for uh, when they go hunting and stuff. Okay. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to actually scroll down because this is where the fun gets. And you can actually see, look at June. Uh, June is its peak. So May and June and July, May, June, and July peaks big time. And then it starts tapering off. People start going back to school in August. So I really like how they have this charted out. It gives you a good sense of uh, what you could expect if you build a niche site as well. You're going to, this is going to be a seasonal niche right here. Okay. So we're going to scroll down here. And what they're talking about on the keyword clustering is right here. You have the ability to cluster these keywords. Okay. So how many keywords do we have? We have almost 4,000 keywords. Now, if we wanted to, here's a really cool way that I would maybe go and, and maybe build out the site in a cool siloing structure, but then you could also be going after keywords that are maybe a little bit easier. Okay. So what we could do is you could also go by uh, search volume, right? So if I go to volume and let's just say the minimum, we want 100, we don't want any keywords that have less than hundred search volume. Okay. So now we just applied that right there. And it's still way too many keywords to go after. So now what we're going to do, 
You could also filter this by the word count and the golden filter and so forth. So let's go in and do a golden filter on these. So it's gonna take how many keyword credits I have. I have 100,000, which is that another reason why it's super awesome that I got the, like the tier three on the AppSumo deal because I don't really have to worry about running out. I've got a lot, I've got 100,000 keywords to analyze uh, per month. So this is um, this big keyword research uh, right here isn't gonna do anything. Uh, it's not, it's gonna barely put a dent in my, uh, in my allotted uh, keywords, right? So I'm just gonna say confirm. So it's going to go out there and it's going to do the golden score and the all in title. Okay. So you can actually use this tool and sell services because the all in title, you can actually come up with your, the, the actual keyword golden ratio, um, with this uh, tool, just by getting the all in title, you already have the search volume. You're going to be able to come in here and see which ones actually meet the golden keyword ratio. And you can sell these services. There's sites out there that sell these uh, packages and they cost a lot of money. Uh, so that's another really cool thing about this tool. And we'll come back when this is done analyzing and I'll show you the keyword clustering function. So uh, I've been waiting for about five minutes. One thing about writers in that you just have to get used to is if you're going to be doing some big keyword research like this and you are going to analyze a, t a lot of uh, like, you know, this is over 3000 that we're analyzing with the golden score. It is going to take, uh, some time. It's going to take a couple hours to get through that. So you're going to want to set it and then, you know, go and do your, uh, some other tasks, um, and then come back to it and it'll be done. Um, in this case, we're just going to move on with the video. Um, and we're going to go and show you the keyword clustering function. So if we come through here and we're looking at these, uh, 3,800 keywords and we want to build a website with camping gear in mind, we would click this clustering and you could cluster and cluster all. Okay. So we're going to select, and we already have that filter on a hundred or more searches per month. We're at looking at 722 keywords selected, and then you push the cluster button. Oops. And then we want to cluster the selected 722. And this is where that new feature and the new option is. Basically it's going to be a little bit more robust. You can um, hit this dial right here, right? So there's either going to be, um, they used to only allow you for search results that have three, they have to have at least uh, three like keywords and then they'll cluster them together. Well, now you can actually tell it to go up to uh, four, five, six, or seven. So let's just go with six right now. Um, so it's going to be a tighter clustering. It's kind of hard to explain, uh, but uh, the higher up you go, the probably less clusters you're going to get, but you're going to get really, really good results is the way I'm understanding it. Okay. So right here, we're just going to say camping gear, and then we're going to say activate. And now a keyword importer camping gear, it's going to go out there and cluster those together for us right now. Okay. So we're back. That took less than five minutes. It actually said that it was going to take an hour, but it really only took about four minutes. So that's good. I'm glad that it was able to get through those keywords. Cause I was kind of like, uh, that shouldn't take an hour to do 700 keywords. So it did only take about five months minutes. Okay. So here's what the cluster it's, it's kind of a custom cluster. We actually started with the keyword explorer tool and then we came back in here and now we're looking specifically at the, um, clusters kind of charted out, uh, like this, uh, like you can in the keyword clusters, uh, set portion of the tool, right? So we're gonna come back here. So look at sleeping bags for camping. That one looks like a really good one. Now you can come through here and there's multiple pages of this, right? We could actually, uh, filter, um, by any, they have a guide right here and you can, it's saying we have a cluster level of six, 722 keywords, um, 116 clustered groups, and then 333 did not go into a cluster at all. So now what you would want to basically do with this, and you can also filter it by the, uh, the volume of each kind of cluster, which is kind of cool. looks like it is going from the top down. So the biggest, biggest one is a camping store and camping store near me, those two right there are going to be throwaways, I think, because those are going to be like uh, local type keywords. You're going to be for people that are shopping in their city and they're planning on going to a store. So when you go to sleeping, sleeping pad, that looks like it's really like a big keyword. People are looking for sleeping pads, um, outdoor gear, best camp chairs, essential sleeping bags, uh, for camping. So this is actually some really good uh, stuff, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and click the export. We're going to export all, and then we're going to come up here and we're just going to say camping gear cluster. Okay. And then we're just going to select how we want it to, uh, looks like they're planning on having different options to do that in the future. We'll open up this Excel file 
and this is what it's going to look like. Um, you're going to have a three tabs. The first tab is going to be just kind of an overview. Let me zoom in for you guys. This is what it's going to look like. So you have the project name camping gear, uh, languages, English, United States created uh, what date it was. So even if you're doing outsourcing or you're uh, doing keyword research for clients, then this is going to be really pro professional to present it this way. So I like it. Uh, total keywords. Um, so it has all that uh, top level things you want to look at. Okay, so let's go look at the clustered keywords. So this is what the cluster looks like. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have um, each one of these just says it's the second cluster, third, fourth cluster, and we can come through here and look. And there's the 300. Um, it's 389 uh, clusters. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, 389 clusters. And if we come through right here, camping store. Um, so I already know I want I'm going to get rid of that one and camping store near me. And I'm going to just delete those, right? Because we're not interested in those. So now what would you do with this content? Well, there's different ways of going about this, right? And I'm not going to be even talking with people that are experts with clustering, <clears throat> they still don't have a straightforward answer on how what you're supposed to do with this content. Okay. So here's the thing you have the total volume, okay, the total vol search volume, and then <clears throat> we come through here, that 21,000 is going to basically be all these keywords right here. And if you scroll all the way down to the right, it's really tiny. I don't know if I'm going to zoom in or not. Uh, it's 21,990. Okay. So that's where this search volume comes from. It comes from all these keywords put together. So here's where you have to decide for yourself. Now this is, um, there's another tool out there that actually tells you for this keyword, and it analyzes all of the top like 20 pages that are ranking for that keyword. And then it'll tell you how much content you need on your page to rank for that. Now, but here's where you need to take this information. How do you apply this really cool? This would be a great way to map out your website. Okay. So this, uh, if you had best camp chairs as a silo uh, or a category, and then you, you would write best camp chairs, do you write each one of these as a topic? And I want you guys to get involved, write a comment below. What do you guys think? Or do you just in, uh, write one page, best camp chairs, and you make sure that you include best camp chairs, most comfortable camp chairs, see c most comfortable camp chairs and comfortable camp chairs. They do go together. So you wouldn't want to have two pieces of content on your site and then um, kind of almost cannibalize that keyword on your site. So those two, uh, you know, definitely go together. Best camp chairs is the main keyword. So it kind of is a flush, right? You're going to use that as your H1. You're going to probably say like uh, top 10 best camp chairs uh, 2022. That'd be a great one. Or maybe the top 20 or something. Now, best folding camp chairs. Maybe you're going to get into folding camp chairs, comfy camp chairs, cool camp chairs, um, you know, best folding camp chairs might uh, need to go on its own and be its own silo. So each one of these, you're going to probably need to come through comfy and cool. Uh, you might need to write a new one on each one of those. So it just depends, right? So we come through and look at something else like um, camping gear cooking right here. Okay. So uh, camping gear cooking, camping cooking equipment, uh, supplies, kitchen gear. So you could just make sure you include these in your content. And be, since be, there are so many 355, um, each one of these I'm taking, I, you know, I want to do a test, but each one of these could be its own uh, document, its own post on your site. And then these are going to be your H2s that you would want to include. So uh, really, really good information. And then the ones that didn't make it into a cluster, we can actually, so if you wanted to tighten this up, you could actually, we could go one more level. Um, and then all these keywords right here, they didn't fall into something. Um, but you could uh, throw these ones back in there, the ones that did not meet a cluster, because we were too strict by putting it at six, we could go back, dial it down to like three or four, and then put these right through and see if we can get some of them to, uh, to end up on a cluster. Okay, so they did that. Um, and just a couple other little uh, updates. All in all, really, really cool. This is a, a good visual way of looking at this. If you wanted to come through and just pick 10 to, uh, or maybe like 30 of these different ones to get your site um, started, you could just come in and select uh, each one and then just down, download those ones, right? So uh, all in all, really, really a good way to kind of map out your website. Um, I'll have to do more content on how to go about turning this entire 
big giant amount of clusters and because you also wouldn't want that many silos right so i just don't think that these can all these all cannot fit into you know um over 300 different categories on your site that's just way too much so what you're going to want to probably do is go through spend an hour of your time going through all these and assigning maybe add a column and try to pick out like five uh, different topics that these could go into and make maybe five or six um, parent silos that these could go into. And then you would just put these, uh, so then you could categorize all these, right? And then these would be um, a nice one click away from uh, the user being able to find the content on the site, if that makes sense. So uh, all in all, really, really great tool. Uh, this is your last 43 hours and 53 minutes to go pick up Writer Zen, a great keyword research tool that has hit AppSumo. It is uh, doing really, really well. People will like it, and it is going away, and I'm going to estimate that they're not going to come back to um, AppSumo again. Um, so this is the time to pick it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of updated video and this demo of the keyword clustering and make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more LearnWires uh, content on reviews and to software tutorials. All right, I'll see you in the next video.